If thou take thy grace away, nothing pure in man will stay. All his good is turned to ill. The gift of understanding, as a gift of the Holy Spirit, helps us to grasp the meaning of the truth of our holy religion by faith. We know them, but by understanding, we learn to appreciate and relish them. It enables us to penetrate the inner meaning of revealed truth and through them to be quickened to newness of life. Our faith ceases to be sterile and inactive, but inspires a mode of life that bears eloquent testimony to the faith that is in us. We begin to walk worthy of God in all things pleasing and increasing in the knowledge of God. Come, Holy Spirit, of under, the Spirit of understanding, and enlighten our minds that we may know and believe all the mysteries of salvation, that we may merit at last to see the eternal light in thy light, and in light of the glory to have a clear vision of thee and the Father and the Son. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And as lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it now never shall be a world without, without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Go. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Go. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now shall ever be, world without end. Amen. In our Pentecost Novena, we pray the act of consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought, and grant that I may always watch for your light, and listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you, and give myself to you, and ask you, by your compassion, to watch over me in my weakness. Hold 
holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with your light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. And the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards him towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. <laughs> 